Xbox looking boy just fucking I'm about to fix my old Jimmy truck Gary's coming after Robin Hood and Bitcoin's price ain't doing too good But that's alright, just pack your bags before we take flight. Woo! Goddamn boy. Arc block looking strong AF. <laughs> Boys, looks like we're on our next leg up. That volume kicking back in high gear. Um, I want to talk about a few things in this video about Gary Gensler. Uh, as I said, he's coming after Robin Hood now. What? Ridiculous, man. Fucking ridiculous. Um, he's suing everybody and hasn't even won a case yet, you know? <laughs> the fuck, bro? The fuck is wrong with you, Gensler? You're a douchebag. Okay, um, let me get that out the way. Yeah. Let me go to Artblock's Twitter. Let's just talk about Artblock first. And I want to talk about Shapeshifts because they are up like, they were pumping today too. Um, where's my, sorry, hold on. Where's the Artblock thing? Just had it up here. Here it is. Got a lot of windows open here. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, let's see what they're talking about. Art block is the heart of Web three. It might, if it is, I'm gonna be rich as fuck. Uh, yeah, so they got listed on Forbes. A, this is like the I don't know how many number article they've been on. Uh, Forbes. I think Robert Mao used to actually write for Forbes, if I'm not mistaken. Um. Also, now they have the Blocklit Studio No Code Toolbox for Builders. Blocklit Studio is an intuitive and user friendly building tool designed specifically for Blocklit. Leverage the modular, no code, customiz customizable features of Blocklit to publish directly to the Blocklit store. Okay, what else they got on here? Yeah. It's a black uh, tutorial thing. Okay, let me go to Robert Mao's thing. Because I saw he said something about they partnered with Google Cloud Services or something. What is going on with this thing? How do I get to Robert Mao? Usually he's like the first one on there. Okay. I guess I'm just going to have to search it, guys. Here it is. <clears throat> Alright. I'm not sure why I'm not following him. I think I had to make a different Twitter account or something. On the... I forgot my password. Um, Alright. Let's see what he's talking about. Let me find that post. Yeah, see, he's talking about now. They got listed on Forbes. That was yesterday, actually. Um, who, where's the thing he said about that? Google. Dude. Okay, maybe I'm, like, tripping or something. I swear I saw that. Hold on. Uh, what in the world? Oh yeah, here it is. I missed it. Arcblock just got accepted by Google for its startups for cloud startups cloud program. We will extend our Blacklit platform to support Google Cloud, and we will also be able to help partners using Arcblock to participate with this program. More details and collaboration with Google coming soon. Okay, hey, <coughs> Google. Do I have to say anything else? Google is fucking big. They pretty much took over the fucking world And they're working with the art blog You know, that's fucking bullish, guys Um, I don't know, I get excited about this stuff I got a good bags of art blog, so I'm always, you know, reading about it and shit You know, you guys should too It's important, stay on top of what you're doing Um, okay, what else did I want to talk about now? Oh, actually, let me go let me see what people on Twitter are talking about the old arc block, because it's fun to see. It's fun to see the posts people people say about it. Computer is actually working today. Working on it's working hard. Oh shit, a bit boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I might have to play this right here. What is bit boy talking about? ABT arc block. 
spoiler, I'll give you guys a spoiler alert. This is on my top picks for May video coming out later tonight. Uh, Arc Block is, look at that chart. I mean, you, you, can I see that? I, hold on, let me tuck it in a little bit. Oh, that's not what I meant to say. Uh oh, uh oh. <clears throat> yeah, we got chart, boys. There we go. Look at that. Look at that chart, guys. <laughs> my 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 guy, my guy John, my guy John, he picked it at least. I don't know the first time he picked it. I don't know the first time he picked it. He may have picked it before this. I only track picks since November because that's when I started my new channel and started doing picks. So other before that, I'm sorry, you just don't get credit for it. Great job, but I can't compare. Do y'all see that? That went from zero to over three dollars. Basically zero. It went from eight cents. This had Seven almost cents, Cardano's actually. entire bull run from 2020 and 2021 packed in two months or three months, however long it is. Uh, when did it really start running? Well, let's say if you go back to like Cardano was an average of five cents. This was at six cents back in October. Okay, this had the entire bull run for Cardano uh, last time, which is a great bull run tucked inside of just a few months and now preparing for another leg up. And this is a great project. Guys, did you hear what he said? <laughs> That's crazy. We just went through Cardano's whole bull run in like 2021 and packed in like two months. And now we're on the next leg up. What the f you know? Our block is a juggernaut, boy. Just slaughtering everybody. T climbing the charts, buddy. It's going to be a top 10 project one day. I guarantee it. Let's see what else people are talking about. Oh, yeah. What is he talking about? I guess the Google announcement or something. Just when I think Artblock can't get more bullish, Robert comes out and delivers. Uh, what's going on with our blog? Whatever. All right, let's move on to Fox, guys. I just want to talk about, I don't want to be too long in here. My videos are kind of long usually. I might need to, yeah, guys, drop a comment. Do you want me to shorten these videos up or do you like the long? Because sometimes I get carried away. Um, let me know. Anyways, uh, Shapeshift was up today. Let me see. It was up like 20%. It was up to like over 10 cents from like 7 cents, so. I think it was because this. Um, they're doing 0% interest loans with no liquidation risk are now available again on Shapeshift. Thanks to the strong rune price, the loan cap from using native Bitcoin as collateral is now 92.8%. Um, maybe that's why that was seven hours ago. But let me see what people are saying about them on, uh, on Twitter real quick. Let me just I'm trying to do this with my bad hand, guys. Let me see what people come out. Do you mean shape shift? Uh... Yeah, here, like I said, here's the chart. So 25%. It went to 10 cents. But anyways, um, it looks like a pretty clean Dex. I mean, it's like, I don't have, I haven't used it, but I've, you know, I've been on the website and just playing around. I might actually download it and fuck with it. But um, let me go to another thing about the, quite a bit I want to talk about other than these, Arcblock and Fox. Um, SEC, like I said, Gary Gensler is at it again. Um, let me just play this little clip. It's just annoying. He was on Squawk Box. And it's just annoying, guys. He just keeps saying a crypto scam and all this stuff. I'm just going to play this real quick. So this field is non-compliant with oh, wait. the wait. protections of our securities. When you look at the headlines today around what the SEC is Whoa. doing and what your priorities are, it's hard to tell how much of your focus today is on the stock market writ large versus the world of crypto and trying to figure out the future of Ethereum and other things. How do you see it? Well, I, I see it this way. We oversee a $110 trillion capital market. About half of that's the stock market. Half, as you might know, is the, the bond markets right. and other markets. Crypto is a small piece of our overall markets, and, uh, but it's an outsized piece of the scams and frauds and problems in our markets because without prejudging any one token, much of this field is non-compliant the protections of our securities laws. 
And so thus, you end up with like an outsized ratio of journalist questions and crypto journalists to market cap. Guys, I'm not tired of this guy. Um, he is so annoying. Like he just comes out all the time tanking markets and he's talking about protecting the investor, but he's shitting on them. You know, he's like trifling innovation. It's so annoying. And the same fucking dude, the same guy, he looks like fucking Mr. Burns. And a couple years ago, we seen how great Bitcoin and Ethereum was, how they weren't securities. And now that motherfucker's on that bullshit again. You know, it's all these old people. They don't get it. They just want to stay with a traditional system. It's not going to, it's not going to work, you know? Anyways, that's a little Gary for you. And here's somebody, you know, saying, okay, SEC allocating grossly disappropriate amount of resources to crypto. And they are. Um, here's This is about what I was talking about, guys, with the Wells notice going to uh, Robin Hood. A Wells notice is, warn, is a warning issued by the SEC that indicates the regulator is planning to pursue legal action against the company. That's as well, like with Coinbase and Binance and all these ones, they got a Wells notice. And now we are to Robin Hood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> really? You're suing everybody, but you ain't even one. You know? Uh, let me see. Well, fuck it. I'm just go. I got a lot of shit to talk about, so I'm just going to keep moving on here. Um... What is this? Something about Biden vetoing the uh, custody, crypto custody? Yeah, that's bullish. You know, they're, they're trying to stand up against the SEC. I don't really like Biden, but I give him props for this. The executive office of U.S. President Joe Biden has announced a stance on proposed legislation H.J. Resolution 109. That would allow highly regulated financial firms to act as custodians for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Hey, okay, whoa. Here we go. U.S. President Joe Biden says Biden would veto legislation that would allow highly regulated financial firms to, to custody Bitcoin and crypto. Basically, guys, the SEC is coming out and saying that um, it's bad to self custody. Like, if you have a wallet and you're holding your crypto and have keys, um, they're basically saying, fuck that. You can't have that. And now they're standing up to SEC. They're definitely overreaching their boundaries. Um, this is mostly Gary Gensler, guys. The, the, the douchebag I just played, the guy talking, he's the one stopping, he's the one causing all these issues. He's throwing a wrench in the fucking, in the spindles of the wheel, you know? He is an asshole. <laughs> There's really no other way to put it, dude. The old Mr. Burns looking ass motherfucker. Anyway, <clears throat> um, moving on. Here's some bullish news, guys. Bitcoin about to explode. One billion sell-offs. That stage for epic price move. Large Bitcoin sell-offs. Liquidations happen around 62,000, suggesting a potential price swing. Analysts believe Bitcoin might try to quickly remove these sell orders, potentially leading to a price rise. Higher price points, 65k and above, have more buy orders, further indicating a possible price increase. Okay, guys. Um, basically. I don't re really want to read out of that, but basically there's a lot of buy orders set above 55, 65K. Um, and a lot of people just got liquidated. So they're basically saying that it's a potential price swing. And I might agree, you know. With Hong Kong, people are starting to buy. It's like 9 o'clock at night. So where was I at? Oh, yeah, and this is also something I want to talk about. Here we go. Here is the flows of the ETFs. Most people have bought, okay, we estimate the average price purchase price of these ETFs since launch to be $62,200 per Bitcoin. As the price fell 10% below that level, it may have triggered automatic sell orders. Okay, here's all the outflows here. These are all by million, US million dollars. Let me just read this. Meanwhile, BlackRock's iBit saw a modest negative flow of 24 million, while Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF continued its outflow trend with 277 million withdrawn during the period. I think this was last week, guys. Performance of these ETF pushed outflows from the United States to 504 million. Notably, Canada, Switzerland, and Germany also saw outflows, outflows totaling 9.6 million, 9.8, and 7.3, respectively. However, despite performance of US spot Bitcoin ETFs, the newly launched flat-based Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs in Hong Kong saw 307 million 
in inflows during the first week of their trading. And guys, mainland China, I don't think they even have access to this ETF yet. This is just Hong Kong, just one section of China, you know? And they have a lot of more liquidity than we do. It's a lot more motherfuckers that live there. That means more people buying Bitcoin. And the price it will pump. Best believe it, boy. Uh, yeah. But other than that, guys, tomorrow, let's see the U.S. economic calendar. It's always important to look at this, guys. MarketWatch.com economic calendar. Um, always check this out yourself. It's always good to check this out. Tomorrow, Thursday, May 9th, 8.30 a.m., initial jobless claims. Best believe that's going to move the market, boy. The job, the Fed wants to see shitty numbers on job reports. Job data needs to be shitty if we want to see rate cuts. And the last one was shitty. So hopefully we'll have a shitty one again. I mean, as bad as that sounds, um, you know, well, yeah, I want a bull run. And let's see. We're going to, this number might change tomorrow depending on this data. But the CME Fed Watch tool, um, target rate probabilities for the 12th June. Uh, Fed meeting is still a 91.2% chance of no change. And then we have 0% hike, 8.8% ease, which has actually went up 0.4% uh, from a couple days ago. Might go up more. Did we got shitty job data? And then we get the, uh, the PPI and CPI report. Shitty. Guy, or not shitty. We need those good. My bad. We want shitty unemployment and job report, job data. And we want good PPI, CPI, you know? That's pretty much what we want to see, guys. But other than that, I'm about to get off here. Our block's about to fucking rip. Working with fucking Google Cloud. <laughs> I don't know what rhymes with cloud, so I just fucked up. Guys, you hold down the fort, man. We are, like, in the home stretch, guys, really. You made it this far. Don't get fudded out now, you know? You're committed at this point. You're selling right now, buddy. You just made yourself, you just played the biggest joke ever on yourself, you know? You're going to be kicking yourself for the rest of your fucking life if you sell right now, especially if you're holding art block. If you got a big bag of art block and you're mashing the sell button, you're a fucking idiot. Anyways, <laughs> with that being said, um, guys, I'm getting off here. You hold down the fort. Don't get fudded out. You know, it's important you don't do that because you're going to regret it. Uh, yeah, y'all hold down the fort. If you get any value from me, like and subscribe to my channel. I got a whole bunch of art block and LCX guys on here. And yeah, we're all trying to get out of the matrix. So hold down the fort.